Hello. In this video, we're going to learn about how to make and remember Canada's political map in my short video called Canada's Political Map Made Easy. I like to think outside of the box, so I really hope, as you're listening to this, that you will not be offended by anything that you learn, but find some amusement in my ways of recalling information. So number one, let's take a look at your political map. First what I want you to notice is we're going to start at the top northwest corner of Canada in its territories. It's kind of hard to see on here, but if you look at the Yukon Territory as an upside down Y, it would help you if you are trying to remember it. I've created the image here and I hope it can help you. Next to Yukon, you have Northwest Territories. And the easiest way to think about that is, well, it's in the north and it's on the west side of Canada. Can't be on the far west because you have your upside down Y. Next, Nunavut. Well, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to going to somewhere extremely cold or living there, I know the Inuits do it wonderfully, but I really don't want any of that on a long-term thought. So when I think of Nunavut, I think there's way too much ice and cold that I really don't want any of it permanently. Again, just a simple way to remember it. And yes, I might be mispronouncing it, and, and I apologize. It's just my way to recall the information. Continuing on now with the provinces, start with the west coast. The west coast here, the first one looks like a B, and stands for British Columbia. Next to it, well, north of Idaho, you have part of a letter A. The other part is covered up by British Columbia. You have an A for Alberta. Ah, the next two provinces kind of would have you think you have to open up your imagination, but if you think about it, it really becomes easy to recall. First of all, you got Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Well, when I first looked at the word, of Saskatchewan, I was like, oh, I thought of Sacagawea. Okay, so women before a man. Okay, somebody later on said it reminded them of Sacag or Sasquatch. Oh, okay, an evolutionary step before man. So either way you want to recall Saskatchewan, I think of it as the female so I look at Saskatchewan as wearing a skirt. And Manitoba is half a pair of jeans. Because men wear the jeans, women wear the skirts. So that way I could always keep those two organized in my mind where they're at in Canada. The skirt would go before the pants. Next we have Ontario. Well, Ontario, I really had to stretch my mind, but I was able to see a very lopsided O for Ontario. Again, I had to stretch my mind here again, and next one, Quebec. But then I'm like, oh wait, I kind of see a Q there. If you use your imagination and see the, the part that sticks out towards the Atlantic Ocean as the stem of the capital Q. Our next province, Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, I happen to find out that if you look at this in a way, you have a capital N and let's take a look. I'll trace that for you, or a capital L for our Labrador idea, and a lowercase n. And there's two pieces of this area, so I know it has to be 
Newfoundland and Labrador. Next, ah, the bowling ball of Canada. Brunswick is a type of bowling ball. And when I looked at New Brunswick, I realized that it's kind of a very odd shaped bowling ball, but you know, it's kind of like it was squarish or halfway circle, halfway knot. And you then just imagine a couple of, you know, for the, the three holes of your bowling ball, and then you got your New Brunswick bowling ball. Okay. After that, we would have Newfoundland or Nova Scotia. Again, two different pieces or one piece that's kind of connected. You have your cursive N in red and then you have the little S and that piece of land above it. And of course, the final piece, longest name yet, the smallest province, Prince Edward Island. It kind of gives it away, it's an island. The only one there that's truly not touching another piece of land. So that's my way to look at Canada as a story of pictures and help keep my organization. Well, here was another idea, a student and a, another adult brainstormed to come up with how to remember it. Because they could remember the various names, but which order did they go in? This one came up with a memory device or a rhyme. So again, starting with the very Northwest Territories, or my, ter my three territories, they created this rhyme. Your, not, nice. So the top three territories says that you're not nice. Okay. You don't have to have them connected, but just remember that the ice would be part of none of its area. And again, so you have that recollection of extreme cold weather, extreme cold land, ice, nice, you're not nice, okay? Next part, starting with the West Coast, you got Billy and Sally made our queen nervous playing for Prince Edward Island near needles. So again, the bottom 10 provinces are from the west to the east, Billy and Sally made our queen nervous playing near needles. West coast to east coast. Either way, it helps you to remember and recall the political map of Canada. You do it. If you come up with your own creative way, please share. I always love to learn other and fun, new and fun ways to learn. Thank you. That takes care of your political map of Canada. Oh, yeah. What's the capital of Canada? The nation's capital. Good job. Yep. Your nation, the nation's capital happens to be good old-fashioned Ottawa. Okay, you should be ready now for your quiz one of the Canada unit.